accepting evil. And I'm trying to think, how did all those people at Zig Heil and mass rallies? They did not see it as evil. They saw the Jews as being evil. If you contain them, you provide more people an opportunity to take over their stores, to take over their positions at the university. He made all of this seem as progress. It's hard to appreciate when one lives in a country like the United States, how ingrained aspects of anti-Semitism are in many parts of Europe. So if you come with a strong attack against the Jews, you immediately get a segment of the population on your side. So isn't it, it's not, of course, killing people, but it's something comparable with Trump's attack against Muslims. Not a good idea. I completely agree with you. Yeah, that's awful. And why do people respond to it? They're stupid. They don't realize exactly what you say. One day it's Muslims, the next day it's you. Yeah, and once it becomes completely him, arbitrary. Yeah, absolutely. Me. Absolutely. You know, I'm a, a Jewish kid from Vienna who came over here with practically nothing, you know, with my grandparents who didn't have much more. And I've had such a privileged existence in the United States, and I'm not unique. The whole generation that came over with me took advantage of the American opportunities, which are extraordinary. One doesn't realize when one benefits from them all the time. Um, so, for example, in my senior year in high school, Mr. Campana asked me, where are you going to college? And I said, Brooklyn College. He said, have you ever thought of Harvard? I said, no. He said, apply to Harvard. I applied to Harvard and got a scholarship. I mean, these kinds of things would not have happened in Vienna, uh, but they happen all the time in the United States. What motivates evil? You must uh, study that, the mind uh, and evil. Uh, I, I really don't know any more about this than you do, but I would say following. One is there may be um, an instinctive inclination toward it. Some people dislike Jews. No matter what you tell them, they will dislike Jews. You know, their father trained him this way. His father trained him that way. It's been passed up from generation to generation. But in addition, people find that it's advantageous. It's advantageous. If you get rid of all the young faculty who are Jewish at the medical school, other people who are not Jewish can move up. Well, that's not bad. I wouldn't mind becoming an associate professor a couple of years earlier. So many people saw this as an opportunity to advance. But it might not be as good. They might not serve society as well, but that's not what they're thinking. They're not saying, I'm not do, going to do as good a job as the Jew I replaced. They're going to say, I can have that associate professorship, which I didn't have before. It would have taken me 10 years to get it. Now I can get it in a few weeks. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.